on the left side. She has, you know, she has the symptoms, she's dropping things, she's weak, um, and, and so forth. But she already had surgery on the right side last year. She has no symptoms on the right side. So we're going to examine um, the strength in her FPL mostly uh, for you know, demonstration purposes. So I'm going to test the, F, the power of the FPL in a semi-pronation, so neutral position of the wrist. I want you to resist and we have weakness. Now I'm going to, to go into full pronation and I'm going to do the same test. And I want you to resist as, as much as you can and that's completely weak, super weak. Can you feel that it's weak? You? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So now we're going to go in supination and do the same exercise. And there is more power. So there's more power in supination than there is in neutral or in full pronation. Do you feel that? Yes. Yes. Okay. So now we're going to take a look over here. If you can close in, you'll see she has a Lacerdus notch here. You know, there's a little bit of a contour deformity that is suggestive of a tight uh, Lacerdus coming from the biceps tendon. And in pronation, I don't know if you can dive in. Not really, you can't dive in, you can't really see it well. Okay, so now we're going to do the scratch collapse test. So you do the drill, resist. Okay, so now I'm going to scratch her right Lacerdus area that already had surgery a while back. And the scratch collapse test is negative. Now I do a scratch collapse test on the left side, which is symptomatic. Resist as hard as you can, hard, hard, hard. And she has zero power. So now this was done in the neutral position of the wrist. What we're going to do that now is in the supine position or the supination position of, of the wrist and elbow. So I'm gonna test both sides. Resist, okay, she's strong. We scratch the right side, negative as expected. And now we scratch the left side and it's negative. So in supination, the scratch collapse test becomes negative, but in pronation or neutral position, I scratch and it's definitely positive. You feel the difference, don't you? Oh yes. Okay. So maybe we can try full pronation. Okay, resist. Okay, the right side, which is asymptomatic, you already had surgery, negative. And now I want to scratch you here. Resist as tight as you can, zero power. So this is, I believe, a, a, a evidence that the Lacerdus syndrome is a dynamic entrapment, which is most evident when there's um, some pronation, neutral position of the wrist, or in the elbow, or full pronation, but in supination, everything gets better. Uh, both the power, but even the response to the scratch collapse test. So I think that's a very interesting uh, observation, and I encourage you to look at this and examine patients in different positions, um, in neutral position, in pronation, and supination, and see for yourself.